What's up, YouTube? We are back in the video. In this video, we're gonna be going over all the new ult ultimate alumni cards coming out later. We have guys like we have Saquon, Micah Parsons so far. Another running back. We get running backs. I swear, every single drop. I feel like we have way too many running backs in this game right now. Like, just go look at A6 running backs right now. Or like, you have. We know we have players like McCaffrey. We have. Um, Chris Johnson, we have Jukins, Jonathan Taylor, we have Ollie Gordon, we have, that's all for the, those ones. And your halfbacks, we have guys like Todd Gurley, they obviously have all the regular ones, but, like, for champions-wise, we also Marshall Falk, which is, like, we have, like, way too many running backs. We're literally getting running back every single drop, it feels like. I don't know, I don't know why, apparently we do, but Micah... I actually like I actually like the Mike is good in card. Um, there isn't that many right help right side linebackers right now in this game. It is only TJ Watt. So, it's TJ Watt's a pass a pass coverage guy. So, and Mike is more of a rushing guy. At least that's what he is in real life. His card is a power rusher, so he's gonna be a really good rusher, which makes sense, obviously. But what the what, I'm, what most likely be the best thing to do is I'm not going I'm not guaranteed it's going to be the best thing to do but I'm going to guess sniping and flipping alt alumni cards will be probably the best thing to do you go over here search up alt alumni and you probably want to do you probably can do your 8 to 81s like normal probably want to sort by catalog or position whatever you have to do you sort by position YC Rick, for example, right here. There's two cards right here. When packs out your grant, you're gonna have to filter by in the catalog by wide receiver. And sort click on the card. Like this. And look at the card. And you can click on the card to refresh it again and over and over again until you get cards, you know. That's probably what you're gonna do tomorrow. Because that's how it is. Mark is flooded on 8 to 81s. Same thing probably for A to A to A to A3s might be flooded. Hopefully there's some good A3s again tomorrow. They got those recovered stories. Last time, like the last one, in case you missed it, didn't have great A3s, I'm pretty sure. But the, but stories did. If we have like budget A3s again, that's been really nice for sniping all that stuff. These A3s are going for around 50k right now. I feel like they drop a little bit, probably drop to 45, 40k. Because I don't know how much sick one is going to be, honestly. Maybe a max of 200k, 250k probably max for Saquon. Honestly, because Lamar is actually getting down there in price. But I feel like A2 filter will work really well for you guys because people will be open rerolls. A2 overalls are very common in alumni rerolls, and A3s are very like they're more common than out of other packs. And obviously, you, if you have a big stack, it's never a bad idea to be sniping these cards. Like right? Mike Evans. Game for like 120, 130, 140, like that won't be a bad thing unless he unless the market completely crashes. Same thing as same thing for the other dude. Um Eric Kendricks is getting for like 60k. Google great. Will be great profit and all that stuff. And you have the other ones like Miles Gary, if you can give like 110, 120. 110, I feel like it's actually a good price. You probably be a full buy for like 110, so I'll buy for 130 tomorrow. Don't exactly know what his price will be, but you have to make sure you check your prices and all that. LTs, we do not know who the LTs are yet, but I'm going to assume we get, we're probably getting another LTD corner, honestly, for defense. We have a linebacker in a corner, but we have not got a corner this week yet, I don't think, for anything. So I could, I could see, uh, maybe us getting like, what's the corner, like a Sauce Gardner? I could see us getting, us getting a Sauce Gardner alumni card. For defense and offense, we could get like a card um, right here. Lamar's going, Lamar's really cheap now. 340 is actually really cheap for Lamar. We just got Mariota and we've got McCaffrey so far. We're probably going to see a receiver. Uh, maybe, I could say, I could see probably like, maybe, who's a really, maybe like a Devontae. Devontae Adams, maybe. Kyle Pitts. Maybe something, maybe one of those, like one of those step cards right there. 
I don't know. Or, I mean, maybe a, a Tyree a Tyree Kill. Like, I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna expect like a big name player for LTDs, because that's how it is right now. We'll have big players until Brian Madden comes out. Then we might get some smaller players. But Madden right now is looking like it's the exact same thing as Cut, because people are getting people are somehow logging into the game. I don't know how they are. People are getting to Madden and they look at the alt team, and it is very similar apparently. Apparently, it's like the same format as Cut. Same format. There's a lot of 85 overalls. And then there's like a 90, 190, 188, 189 for leveling up for like those limited time cards, you know, that are like with Jukins and all that stuff, you know. Which a good thing. Let's go look at them right now. These cards go down and up a lot. Like they go change in price so much. Like this card's 260 right now. He was 300k earlier. I don't know what he's like. They just change so much. Like Will Jones 650. Who knows how long he's gonna be 654. Jukins 800k. Jukins literally, if you can get for 650 somehow. It's a good buy. It's a really good buy. 700k even is a pretty good buy on Jukins. Because Jukins always goes goes back with 800k. Then you have Luther Burden. He's a mill. If you can get for 800k. Unless it's an LCD receiver tomorrow. It's actually a pretty good deal. I know it's not stupid, but. It's not an awful deal for getting for 800 if you can somehow. But. What I'll be probably doing tomorrow. If I. Uh, I think tomorrow. If I, if I can play tomorrow. I'll probably be going for the big, like, pro I'll probably be going 82, 82, 83s, and then Ultimate Alumni, like, 85, 86 cards overalls. Um, but with, re with recent, what I've been doing, I've been, I got some investments in. I got some Caleb Down investments. I have five Caleb Downs. I'm not going to buy another one because I need some coins for tomorrow. It's actually is my Will Campbell right here. I'm trying to sell my last Will Campbell off. For 550, pretty a profit on that. But another filter you could do, like how I did make a video on snipe filters, you guys want to watch that. But um, ep you do epic alumni, and you sort offense, defense, or whatever, how much, whatever you need to do at the time. Let's sort offense right here. You you see Lamar and um, Mike Evans and defense, you could see. Uh, Kendricks and uh, Miles Garrett there, and you just refresh, refresh, refresh. If you want to tomorrow, you up update a six eighty like this one. You can update it to a six eighty seven if you want, and sort of search them. Like it's not a bad filter, honestly, because the new card, the cards will be getting flooded onto the market, just like how conference story cards are getting flooded on the market. Um, like. You see Cameron Rising right there. You see Cade. Like, Cade for 130. Like, these guys are so cheap. Cade's 130. Cameron Rising, 70. Really cheap cards, honestly. Defense, you have Jonathan Jefferson for 64. I'm actually going to sell it back for 75. At least try to. I'll make a few thousand off of it. These guys are so cheap. I don't know why, but they are. Real quick, sell it back for 75. Come on. There we go. 75k. Make a few thousand off him. But I would recommend actually like if you're not, if you're not doing A2 A3s or A's A ones, do the 85 to 86 and then like just snipe those cards. Those cards are gonna pop off crazy on the market. That's how, that's how it works. They pop a lot. Or not a lot. I mean they're you you get a good amount of them. And yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.